Have you ever wondered how a breath station works? Well, we're here in a city street tonight with 10 police officers. They'll be stopping about 600 people. They're about to flag someone down. Let's get the head cam on and see what happens. Good evening. Good evening. This, this is a breath testing station. Just right. want you to take one big deep breath and blow into this and keep blowing until I tell you to stop short. Stop. In this method of breath analysis, the driver is asked to blow through a portable electronic machine. Rob's alcohol reading of 0.005 is way below the legal limit. The machine is actually a battery without any fuel in it. Alcohol in the breath becomes fuel for the battery so an electric current flows. Normally Rob would be allowed to leave, but let's see what happens to a person whose reading is above the limit. The police officer takes the driver to a van where a much more accurate method is used to check the alcohol reading. In this case, it's an infrared breath testing machine. Once again, the driver blows through a tube and the machine tells you when to start and stop blowing. Inside the machine, there's a hollow cylinder with infrared rays being beamed from one end to the other. Alcohol vapour interferes with the infrared rays and the computer calculates the blood alcohol reading. Same reading again. And this machine is as accurate as a hospital blood sample. Now those systems are electronic. What happens if they don't work? The police officers go back to the old puff bags an interesting method, which is fairly accurate, and it's fascinating to watch because it depends on changes in coloured crystals. You're asked to blow through this glass tubing into a plastic bag for six seconds. See if there's any colour change in the orange crystals. No change at all, no alcohol in the blood. I wonder what would happen if alcohol got into those crystals. Well, I just happen to have some vodka here, almost pure alcohol. Let's pour a few drops in and see what happens. Have a look at that. Change from yellowy orange colour to a bright green. Well, I don't know if anyone would have that much alcohol in the blood. But you know, breath analysis units are important because when they analyse your breath, they give an indication of how much alcohol is in the blood that's on the way to the brain. I want to know. Curiosity